Eugene contains multitudes. I can't sum it up in one word. Ned is saccharin. Saccharin is like, it's so sweet, it's sickly, right? Yeah, that's Ned. I didn't know any of the Try Guys prior toward meeting them. Didn't know any of them before I met. Uh, I did not know the rest of the Try Guys before we met. I think there was also a few days where I mixed them up. For sure. I went to the holiday party. Oh, okay, that's yeah. right. I went to the New Year's party. Oh. You didn't go to the New Year's party. Mm -hmm. no, they had I, New Year's parties? Yeah, I don't know. I was never invited. We all started working at a company called BuzzFeed Video when it was in its fledgling stages. With three of us being interns, Zach was technically a like super intern. I was what's called a fellow, which is a half step up from intern. Higher pay, higher status. I was definitely not more qualified than the other guys, but I was better at bullshitting my interview. Zach has the vibe of every film school student who was obsessed with Wes Anderson. Zach's a goof. He wears cat shirts. Zach sort of had a shifty vibe. <laughs> you know, who's always at the party being like, but you know, the, you know, the symbolism of the pastel color palette. He especially at that time wore really stupid clothes. I always notice when someone has tons of like body hair. I think the first video he made were like facts about butts. I said you were hairy. Yeah. You're kind of hairy and little and maybe like a little annoying. How did you know I was hairy? I remember meeting Eugene very specifically and my first thought was, wow, fuck this guy. Eugene, I just remember being very intimidated by the way he dressed. He was in a tie. Eugene came into work wearing the deepest V-neck tee you have ever seen. Like it basically touched his navel. I'm pretty sure Zach probably cited a suit with a low shirt underneath. He always talks about that story. It's, it's like his favorite dumb one. outfit. It's the yeah. dumbest thing you've ever worn. It looks good. I should also say he comes off as a little pretentious. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw it out there. The reason why they dress well now is because they're friends with me. Uh-huh. I still dress <laughs> shitty. <laughs> <laughs> My first impression of Keith was that he was goofy and tall and he had a huge mouth. It's hard to not notice Keith's giant mouth and it's funny. He has a fun face. Uh, you know what's sad is I don't remember meeting you. Hmm. Keith has a very friendly vibe. He's kind of like a clown without the makeup. But I remember teeth, tall, gangly. Kind of like Ichabod Crane. Mm -hmm. Goofy looking, goofy acting, fun, goofy man. I just remember he seemed like a nice guy. Ned's vibes is like every bad HGTV show. If it weren't for us, he would be a clean comedian. Striving to be an adult. But the bad HGTV shows, like not the Property Brothers. Actually, maybe the Property Brothers. Ned always comes off as very put together. I think I thought Ned was kind of boring. Like he just seems like he's 10, 15 years ahead of where his age should be. I think I just thought he was like every other like white guy at a bar. All this how we first met makes it sound like we should have hated each other. Yeah. yeah. The first video we all made together was called Guys Try Lady, no. The Try Guys Try Victoria's Secret Underwear. Try Guys Try Victoria's Secret Underwear. Guys Try Victoria's Secret Underwear. Guys Try on ladies' underwear for the first time. You wanna say Let's it? Let's say it together. Oh, I guys One, two, try. ready. Guys, guys try Victoria's ladies' underwear, underwear for the first time. No, Victoria's oh. Secret. Victoria's Secret underwear. Secret underwear. Secret underwear. Secret in the title. No, but we switched it. Uh, we shot it. Where did we shoot it? What, did we shoot it on a seamless or on a stage? You cross the parking lot, and there were these two stages in the first room. And there was a curtain in front of us. We actually didn't have great uh, naked security. Just every time we heard someone open the door, we went, don't come back here! We're, we're naked! I'm gonna say that we filmed it in August. August. September, I think August 2014? Oh no, the day it was published was September 12th. The day it was shot would have been September 6th? August, August, August 2014. I thought it was early September. For the first Try Guys video, it was both Keith and Zach's idea, but I'm gonna give more credit to Keith because I just feel like Zach's gonna try to take all the credit. The first Try Guys video was my idea. It was either Zach or Keith. No, that's not true. Uh, the first Try Guys video actually came from a brainstorm that I was in with Keith, uh, a man named Adam Bianchi, and Caitlin Cowie. Myself, Zach Kornfeld, and Caitlin Cowie. But if I'm being totally honest, I don't know that either of us came up with the actual idea. Those BuzzFeed producers. Keith and Zach prepared it and Ned and I were asked to be in it. Eugene, he's gonna say that we only asked him because he's gorgeous. A double whammy diversity representation. He always had this way of kind of wrapping things up with a nice bow and pointing towards the larger social commentary takeaway. They're gonna say something different like, oh, he's cool and he has great hair and he's like dark. And I was like, nah, it's cause I'm Asian, y'all. Ned was actually the 
the first person we asked and he said no. I originally didn't want to do it. I got a wife to think about. I'm gonna have a kid someday. We're trying on thongs. I went to Yale. This is gonna be gross. And we basically just bullied him into joining. As we were making it, it was very funny. I had to kind of act like I'd never put on women's underwear. Uh, everything was soft and silky. Ned was definitely probably the most nervous. Yeah, I think I was the most nervous. Ned really didn't want to do the video. Though it's so ironic because now Ned is obsessed with his ass and wants everyone to see it all the time. Who came up with the name Try Guys? So the name the Try Guys was Keith and Eugene, though Eugene will probably take credit. This is debatable, but I think it was between me and Keith. I came up with the name the Try Guys. It was our third video, which was the Try Guys recreate Kim K's butt photo. It came to me one night. Keith and Eugene were working on the same computer and they just yelled up and they're like, hey, we need a name. So I had the idea about branding and he had the idea of the name. He went, well, we're guys who try stuff. Why not the Try Guys? And I said, that is so fucking stupid. Kind of obvious, right? I feel like we could do better. God, that sounds good. Turns out we couldn't do better than that. We've been together for over four years. We've grown through countless new experiences, both on camera and off camera. I gained three brothers, and I never imagined it would be with uh, people that I'm so different from. They were all groomsmen in my wedding. Meeting these three ding-dongs has been the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. We're, we're the, the Try Guys, guys and that's, that's how we met. met.